hope you see that in your nightmares. For your viewing pleasure, I have compiled a list of the top 10 worst Christian parodies. Let's go. In no particular order, first we have Jesus Christ Baby, Ice Ice Baby, Christian parody. First, it starts off with this really long, awkward intro. Guys, I see all our friends. I see Clarissa out there and, and Big P, Big P, and Nat. Hi, Nat. Hi, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I just, I see all of you out there. Hi, you. Yeah, I mean you. I see you watching. Hi. Let's kick it. Yeah, I don't I don't know about this. I especially this like this this like dance move. All right, stop. Open your Bible and listen. Pastor Frank is about to start preaching. The Holy Spirit grabs a hold of me tightly, pouring blessings over me daily and nightly. God, God, let's let's get to the punchline. I don't think I can handle much more of this. Jesus Christ, baby. Wait, girl, I don't think they hear you out there. I said Jesus Christ, baby. God. Uh. I just really, I, I just want to like, <laughs> over this music, I just want to put some like people just dancing like in the club, like. And if you love God, you gotta stay humble. He goes crazy and the walls will crumble on a high cloud. He's watching us closely. We're no Go Catholics, but grab your rosary heathens. You gotta listen close, it's a hot problem. You gotta diagnose. Oh yeah, now it's lit. All right, yeah, that was fun. Next on the list, we have Virtue Makes You Beautiful. Baby, you light up the world like nobody else. By the way that you speak and respect yourself. Girls with integrity are hard to find these days. Hey, I take personal offense to that. You gotta know, oh, oh. You are so beautiful. If only you saw what I can see. You don't understand why I need your honesty. What? Modesty? <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't understand why I need your modesty. You don't understand why I need your modesty. This reminds me of that Girl Defined video where all the guys were like, I like women who sit down and shut up and wear a lot of clothes. I really admire when girls dress modestly. It's really unattractive when a girl dresses immodestly. If only Catholic priests felt the same way about little boys, wouldn't that be nice? Whoops. Next we have You Love Sin, What a Tragedy, I Write Sins Not Tragedies parody by GodHatesFags.com. All right, well that's a Westboro Baptist Church website, so we know it's gonna be good. Real music just arrived, courtesy of Westboro Baptist Church. I just, God, don't. They're, they're gonna ruin one of my favorite songs. What a shame they're all facts like them so whores. We chime in and we'll have a new people I've ever heard of. Obey the word of God, no. I don't think I can handle this. This is so bad. <sighs> you are a man against the king of kings. The sense of pride and immorality. We chime to ruin it. Oh, it's so bad. But not as bad as this next one, actually. This one, it, it actually does get worse. Kids sing Christian version of Don't You Wish Your Girlfriend. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play it. Don't you think your Buddha is a little odd? Oh, don't you wish your Allah was great like God? God. God. Don't you think your Buddha is a little odd? Yeah, Buddha's odd. And don't you wish your Allah was great like God because Buddha's ridiculous and Allah's ridiculous, but Christianity makes sense. God. But it gets creepier. Uh, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for the cringe? Because this is coming. Don't you. Come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. First of all, you got to appreciate the dance move, whatever the fuck this is. But the creepy part, the creepy part is the guy. Clearly there is a grown man behind the camera filming these children. And he's like, yeah, mm, come on, come on, uh, yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking creepy, right? Like, ugh, kind of gives me the chills a little bit. Ugh. Okay, moving on. Put it off. Shake it off. Christian parody. Christians, for some reason, really, really like to parody Taylor Swift, so let's 
So let's just see what they do. I like to complain. I'm nothing but a pain. That's what my husband say. Mm -mm. That's what my husband say. Mm -mm. That's <sighs> grammar. It's what he says. It's what he says. You know, that's what my wife say. Mm -hmm. That's what my wife say. Bad grammar. Bad. Get rid of all this wrong, 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 wrong. Need to put it off. Put it off mean? Put it off? And, and where does God, how is this a Christian parody? Put it off! And now for the awkward talking part of the Taylor Swift song that absolutely no one can do without it being super cringy. Let's go. Hey, 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 just think while you've been bickering and arguing, trying to do things the way you used to do them back in the world, you'll now hear God's plan at this retreat. Oh, they're at a Christian retreat. That makes sense now somehow. My husband is my lover and my friend, all because of God, and I am gonna love him. To my wifey over there, gonna, gonna take better care, gonna be a better man, gonna love, love, love. I am gonna love him. Why? Especially that cringy part of the song. Like I said, no matter who does it, it's bad. No matter who, I would never. I am so far above doing anything like that ever. You would never catch me dead doing something like My girlfriend, she just walked in. She's like, oh my god, bro, well, I'm just gonna shake it. Okay, um, so that was a long time ago. You can't judge me. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Okay, you know what? I take it back. Just everyone should judge me. Judge me very much for doing that. Moving on to more Taylor Swift. We will never ever get back together. Taylor Swift Christian parody. By the way, this guy has a super sweet Bible shirt. I love it. Like forever in heaven, we praising him together. Awesome. Awesome. And it gets better. Awesome. So no matter where you're at in life, just pick up that phone because it's Jesus calling. Hello? He's calling you up to say that he still loves you. I love you too. And you may be like, no way. How could he love me? I am a mess. I love you, Jesus. And we will forever, ever, ever be praising him together. Be praising him together. Forever, ever, 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 ever. You gotta have the ooze. It's not a song without the ooze, and that brings me to the next song, segue. I am never ever going back to singing Taylor Swift Christian Remix. Ooh, 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 come on, come and cheer, come and cheer, hey. Don't ever, ever, ever go back to singing, hey. <laughs> hey, at least he did the ooze. Just, it's a super important part. Uh, we can go to heaven and live with him forever. Just open your eyes and your Bible and sing it with me. No! Never, ever, 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 
The lyrics were a little bit lame on that one, but the dancing was so good I had to include it. All right, and as you picked up in the intro, this next one is my absolute favorite. I think it's the funniest shit out of all of them. We have Holy Faith, Christian parody of Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Already. Why is he coming out of a pool? Just why? I don't. Okay. I wanna hold it like they're doing with the priest. Read it and believe in it until I am deceased. I love it. I love it. Oh, 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 I'll never stop. Keep it in my heart. Oh, 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 oh. Ha ha ha, holy faith, ha ha, holy faith. Ha ha ha, holy faith, ha ha, holy faith. Ha ha ha, holy faith, ha ha, holy faith. I love it. I will tell you that I love you. Kiss and hug you. I'm just loving with my brethren. I'm sorry, that is the creepiest shit. I will tell you that I love you. Kiss and hug you. Okay, you know what? I think I need to do it with his voice. Ready? I will tell you that I love you. Kiss and hug you. I hope you see that in your nightmares. I ain't lying. I'm just styling with my holy guy and just like a saint in a cathedral. Just <laughs> like a saint in a cathedral. Oh my god. You do not get better than this shit. Right here. Right here. My favorite. Take a look at what your life is like. I promise this promise that we love him cause he's marvelous. Must love him. Must love him. You must love his holy faith. <sighs> Anyways, well, last but not least, we have to end with a Westboro Baptist Church song because you know how much I like them. Westboro Baptist Church parody, Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. Lyrics and description. Spirit of Almighty calling me, moving me, promising. Said that he would never leave, continues to unction me. Loves the church and shows to her through the holy comforter. Damn, breaking it down with the WBC. Oh, He'll plant his feet on the ground Trumpets calling him down oh, 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 oh. Always one of my dreams to sing with the Westboro Baptist Church. I feel like the next thing they're gonna say is he'll light you on fire? God sets you on fire? Hell is on fire. There's so many options. God sets you on fire! Cause hell is on fire! Something like that maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. This world is on fire! Close. I was close. This world is on fire! <laughs> ha ha! What is that? It sounds like Mickey Mouse. Ha! Do they do that at the end of every time? Fire! Anyway, that was 10, guys. We made it through 10 awful Christian parodies. Now, there's a lot of Christian songs out there that are bad, but these very specifically were parodies, and there are many, many more. So if you want to see more of this shit, leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you want to see. Also, hey, this is an atheist making a video about ridiculous religious things. So while we're at it, might as well worship Satan and fit the stereotype. Just kidding, but actually I have this awesome shirt that says Satan is Bay. It's got my name on there. It's a really cute design. It's a shirt that Blackcraft Cult actually made for me and I love it. There is a link in the description below. So if you're interested in getting one, you should totally do that. Cause I love it. Cause you guys know I'm sad and alone. I ain't got no babe, but Satan's always there for me. Cause atheists totally believe in Satan, right? Oh, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I will leave all the information in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye. This world